You mentioned the, the Billington Bulldogs, who I know MLW is very high on. I mean, I've spoken to people there that, that like them an awful lot. How close hat were you all before before this? Like, did you all keep in touch regularly? Was it like, like how was that relationship before you all started to, to team more regularly? Well, um, I hadn't seen them since, oh, geez, they were, oh, man, like it had been 2014. Mm-hmm. Would have been the last time I'd seen them. So they, they were young kids, and then I I was keeping in touch with them on, social media and through their Instagram and Facebook pages and with uh, their father, Mark, and I'd seen their progress and I thought, wow, they really, um, they went and took a quantum leap with their skills and, uh, and everything like that. And it started to get some really good experience. So, and then they, they had a great coach with uh, Marty Jones as well. So I, I didn't necessarily uh, have a, a, a super close relationship just would have been when I, would visit, I would see them for, they pop in and say hi. And then all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I'd see on the uh, Instagram and everything. They're, you know, coming off the top rope with all the drop kicks and the headbutts and stuff. So, uh, you know, and they, they came to Calgary and they decided to stay for a while and work with some of the, the local circuits here, which is good to get experience. And then I trained with them a couple times and their basics are all pretty good and uh, they just need experience and, you know, um, uh, keep, you know, they're still young, stem filled out, so just keep training and, um, we'll, we'll keep do, doing better and, and also staying 